Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. This morning we had a CPI report which caused a huge spike in the markets, um, which was anticipated. It's a definitely a high impact news event. Let's see how we can navigate around that news, um, what, how that affects the levels, and let's see if the morning strategies can stay red hot right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. All right, so we've got here, if we're taking a look at gold, um, gold obviously took a huge spike down, um, obviously has recovered since the news. Oil is also in a down downtrend here this morning. Um, taking a look at our trades from yesterday, gold had zero setups, so no setup yesterday in gold. Um, oil, which has been red hot, they've all actually been red hot here in May. Uh, you get activated based off of this first inside bar, another inside bar, um, and then you actually get activated on the candle that takes you to full take profit, 18 ticks. Just got that really nice momentum push upwards which is exactly what you're looking for on these strategies. Um, oil session two, which I took yesterday, uh, gave us a short base off of the 935, 940 close inside bar. That only went for nine ticks, it was a small trade, but it was actually the only trade that I took yesterday on the eval since there was no trade in gold. Eval currently sits at $51,483, so we've got about close to $1,500 of profit in there. Um, so that account's got a nice little buffer built up here. Taking a look at our levels, as I stated, CPI came out this morning, huge spike, took out a lot of liquidity, a lot of levels. So at that point, it's usually best to map your levels after that high impact news event. And um, I've already told in, in people in Discord, really not that many great setups. Um, the only setup here I see on the NQ would look something like this, a retracement right back to this level, strong level at 18,329. You could play it right back down to this um, level at 18,300. You've got your clear stop loss, which is a five minute level at 18,339, put your stop a little above that. And you've got yourself a decent trading opportunity on the NASDAQ this morning. Um, Levels below us, this already got tapped into, 18,178. Um, and then same thing, you've got a decent level here, a five minute at 18,152, with a strong level at 18,141. So if price action was to come back to here, you could take a bounce from this level, right back to this level, and then you've got a clear stop loss right below you, you know, obviously placing it a little bit lower than this 18,141. So these are posted in Discord. Um, so if you're interested in these levels, uh, there's a video that I that I put out, um, I'll link it to this video, uh, that shows how I draw out these levels and what it is that I'm looking for each and every morning. Uh, let's take a look at the YM. So the YM has got a bunch of five minute weaker levels above us, um, starting at 39,642. 39.677 and 39.697. Since I don't have a real strong five minute, a 15 minute level here, I would not be taking a uh, price action with a retracement down. This We might get a bounce here, but again, I like to trade within that 15 minute level, um, either as my stop loss or as my, um, my entry point. Below price action, we currently sit at uh, 39,598, which was a strong 15 minute level, has tapped in there a few times, so this is starting to weaken. You've got a five minute um, level that has been created by CPI, and that's at 39,508. 39,441 got tapped into with that CPI, and then 39,351. Honestly, on the YM, no trade setup that I really like. If you're looking at the ES, the ES, we have, uh, I might have moved my level there, shoot. Um, we, I have been talking about this 
particular move up here for maybe three or four days. So obviously we have a gap here. This is still an FOMC gap that's still out here remaining. Um, if we can get, if we can fill this gap, I can see a very good trading opportunity at 52.71 as your entry. You've got a clear stop loss, 15 minute level at 52.72. And then you can target back, hopefully a fresh five minute level. Um, if not, you could even go right back to this level at 52.61. Um, but I would, I would say it would probably be wiser to have a fresh level above you. We do have a level of 52.61. We've got a weaker level on the ES at 52.53. Um, obviously, I think I already talked about this one, 52.48. This is just a level based off of CPI. You know there's gonna be orders here that you know that were not filled out and you are probably gonna get some movement here in this region. Uh, 52.31, which is a five minute level that was caused from CPI. And then down here, you've got 52.07 as a strong level. You could take this here as a trade as well. Now, this would be a trade that would look like this as of right now, but based on price action coming down here, if another five minute level is created lower, you wanna target your more realistic target. There's just no price action right now to say that. So I would still keep this at the 5235 level. Um, so again, those are the, those are the, the NQ, the ES, both have two trade setups that could po possibly play out. Uh, we'll see here what price action wants to do. Let's see what the morning strategies get. Um, looking forward to the day. See you guys, stick around for the trade recaps. Also remember, I'm gonna be going live tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central Time. Hopefully you guys can join me. See you guys in a little bit. Order canceled. All right, here is our first trade of the morning, which is in gold. Uh, we do get activated here to a short based off of that green inside bar. Uh, we do get a nice little momentum play right out of the right off the gate. Um, when you put your stop loss to the top of our source bar, which is that white up bar, um, it stop loss is 36 ticks. So I am looking for 36 ticks of take profit as well. So it's always one to one. Anytime you get to 40 ticks or higher then that's when we reduce our stop loss down to 35 ba based on my back testing. Um, and like I said, so we've been kind of like in a mini uptrend, kind of going against the trend here. But ag again, the inside bar play is just a temporary um, moment in time with price action where we are looking for a momentum play outside of that small area of indecision. So, you know, obviously here I am looking for, for sellers to step in, um, take profits kind of in a little bit of an aggressive area here, but you know, I, I stick with my rules. Um, I do know that we're probably going to get some resistance here when we get um, probably to about 80% of our take profit. But the beauty about that is if we get that close down, I can reduce my, or I, I say I will reduce my uh, stop loss in half. Anytime I get to 70% TP or more, that's when I will make that, um, that move to cut some of the stop loss in there, just in case you come a tick or two away from full take profit, you don't want that reversing all the way on you. So right there, that's the momentum play. This is the area I was saying that we might see some um, we might see some resistance here. It does pull back here a little bit. I've already reduced my stop loss. Full take profit in gold. Beautiful trade. Target filled. Order submitted. Order filled. Okay, so shortly after that successful trade in gold, um, we had some filled. bonus content because we actually ended up getting a 15 minute rob reversal. Um, don't even have this trade sped up. It was just so quick of a trade. Um, looking for the original 35 um, stop loss, 35 points of stop, 35 points of take profit. So I, kind of, I just had my, my strategy um, set to that. I have been trading it with a trailing stop, um, but I'll get into that in my recap as to why that wasn't. So here we did have um, we did have a bit, bit of news. Um, Powell was speaking pretty much right at this time. So, you know, I had a few members uh, asking me, you know, are you going to trade it? You're not going to trade it. Uh, and I said, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to keep this trade on um, just because you know there's going to be some some pretty good movement. Obviously, when he speaks, it could obviously go against you know that's for damn sure. But um, here's a momentum play. I mean, that was the classic reversal right here. So we've got that. 
that down bar, which is the, it's got actually a red arrow on there. And then you get that reversal, that flip, close above the ADMA. Um, entry is one tick above that green candle, activation candle. And now at this point, you're just sitting and watching, hoping that um, you take your full take profit here, which would be 35 points. I am trading this on, since it was set already, on the micros. Uh, I have five micros on here, so full take profit is $350. Um, and I'm risking the same thing on this trade one to one. I do not have the trailing stop activated here. So we're just looking here for a final push from, from buyers. Uh, I felt really good about this trade. Once the momentum was there, I knew that um, I had a very good feeling that my full take profit would be, and that is exactly what happens. $350 profit on the Rob reversal. Target filled. Well, just another super strong day of trading um morning strategies did great rob reversal did great levels did great i can call this a unicorn day um just just beautiful beautiful day of trading um all right so let's kind of we obviously had cpi uh this morning we also had powell speaking that uh, obviously the the nasdaq and the es had some pretty big swings on that which I was able to capitalize on the 15 minute Rob reversal. Uh, let's get into oil. So oil session one this morning did lose, not trading session one, um, lost for 35 ticks. And I would have reduced this down, I believe this has got to be close to 70%. Um, so I would have reduced this down to 15 ticks, but I'll take a look at the math on that to see if the 70% was right there. Um, no trade in oil session to today, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, in gold, as you guys just saw that trade, uh, 36 tick trade. Obviously, if you put your stop loss at the top of our source bar, it is 36 ticks. Remember, anything 40 ticks and above, you reduce down to 35. Anything below that, you, it's just one to one. So that's the trade that you saw here, 36 ticks. And it gave a really strong push down. So I think there was about a tick of slippage in my in my favor, which is great. So we took home $370 on the eval here um, this morning. So that's gotta be sitting close to 1900 in profit, uh, which is great. Rob reversal hit, um, hit it with the original strategy of 35 points, stop loss or take profit. I was actually doing the uh, back testing, I believe it was yesterday. Um, so I switched the strategy to just the original 35 uh, take profit stop loss and um, honestly activated it with that exact same strategy. Either way, you got activated here at the 915, 930 close candle, got activated 35 points, very easy trade, very quick trade. I don't think that lasted more than more than four or five minutes. So took 350 on that one. And then let's take a look at the levels. Uh, so the ES, nothing yet. Um, had really two trade setups that I kind of mapped out early this morning. One coming down to 5207 and the other one coming up, or I'm sorry, going up to 5271. Um, but neither of those trade setups have uh, come into play. Did take a really nice trade on the NQ. Again, if you, watch, if you're, if you stuck around for the beginning of the video, you already saw me mapping out my two trade scenarios here this morning. And one was a movement up to this 15 minute level at uh, 18,328. Remember, I said we got a clear stop loss here above us at, with a five minute level. So the trade was pretty simple. Put my order to go short right at the 15 minute level, targeting back down to this level that I had mar marked off earlier um, at 18,300. Uh, I did, I posted this while I took, when I took the trade, while I took the trade and the finality of it. I did punch out a little bit early. Um, I made $302 on this trade. If I would have kept it all the way into my um, to my level, I would have had about a $490 profit. So I left about 190 bucks on the on the table there. So that was really the only my only fault today, I guess, in trading was just you know 
not having the full patience to take that all the way to full um, take profit. But either way, um, beautiful trade, tapped into the level, came straight down, tapped right back into my level here that I was looking for. So that was the trade that I took here on the NAS. And again, one trade per day, one setup per day, you find the setup that you like, and if it works great, um, which obviously it's been working more than it hasn't, um, currently sitting at 51,400 on two accounts here, on 250K accounts, so uh, I also took that one in cash. Today was my first day in, tr in cash. Now I only took that one for $200, so I was even a bigger chicken, obviously, when it came to cash. But I also took gold in cash today. So the gold one cashed out at 360, so it was a $560 day um, green on the cash account, which is fantastic. Did not trade the rob reversal on cash. I just, honestly, I just didn't even have the strategy open. I was doing my video and the only one I had was the eval. So that was kind of a bummer of, you know, on my part. But either way, I am super happy with the day of trading here today. Uh, reminder, I do go live tomorrow, um, 5.15 Wednesday. Uh, we'll have oil inventory. I will show you guys how I map out my levels. Hopefully we can get a trade set up there tomorrow that I could trade uh, live. So if you guys are interested, you guys like this style of trading, uh, hopefully you guys can join me tomorrow on the stream. All right, everyone, I'm done for the day. Uh, off to work. Happy trading, everyone.